The Waikato Polytechnic. A minor back injury has hindered Brenda Lawson lately, but she and Philippa Baker are confident of proving competitive. We've never rode together in the summer and we rode, rode and raced together this summer, so we think you know, that's, that's made a difference and it's just made um, our moving through for the normal winter preparation a lot easier. Three of the crews, the men's eight, the lightweight double skulls and the women's quadruple skulls will head to Europe next week to prepare for a final bid for Olympic selection. It's 12 years since the New Zealand eight last appeared at the Olympics but the current crop appears to be on the fast track to Atlanta. Really good, we've been uh, doing a lot of miles and uh, we actually did a time trial the other day, which went really well. So we're pretty confident about how things are going and it's really showed that our training's been the right thing. Today's row about was a breeze compared with pre-Olympic judgment time at Lucerne next month. Stephen Stewart, One Network News. English bookies can't separate the teams for Sunday morning's Dream FA Cup soccer final. Manchester United and Liverpool are both quoted at odds of 13 to 8. The BBC's Sue Thurl reports. There was no Wembley ticket to ride for most of these Liverpool fans who'd made the pilgrimage to Anfield. They just wanted to absorb the pre-final rituals and look forward to a fixture which many of them now regard as more significant than the Merseyside derby. The rivalry between both sets of supporters has gathered momentum in recent years. Liverpool fans found it hard to forgive or forget the 1977 Cup final when their all-conquering side was denied what would have been a treble by United. Liverpool still dominated in the 80s, but in the 90s the balance of power swung towards Manchester. Having clinched their third title in four years on Sunday, the rivalry between the two clubs is as intense as it's ever been. Football and, and culture in general, you know, there's mu good music scenes in both cities and, and it's just sort of carried on from there, really. We'd rather it be a far healthier relationship between the fans. But there is that intense rivalry that we're well aware of and we have a responsibility to make sure our teams perform properly on the, on the pitch. According to Bill Shankly, football wasn't a matter of life and death. It was much more important than that. You'd be hard-pushed to find a Liverpool or United fan at Wembley tomorrow who'd disagree. Absolutely. Well, our cricketers had another one-day win in Bermuda. Yes, they did. They thrashed a local side by 119 runs. Chris Harris scored 160. Gosh. Obviously enjoying that Caribbean sunshine. Who wouldn't? Yes, thanks, Jeffrey. Well, Karen joins us in a moment with the weather. We'll look at leading research into the causes and solutions for premature births. And we meet a Christchurch man putting a sharp edge on an ancient craft. On Holmes tonight at 7 o'clock, Kitsch or Colourful, an Edwardian masterpiece or a monumental mistake? Colours, yeah, I'm just trying to come to terms with it. I'm just really trying to come to terms with it, but I think if it was really knocked back, the subtle tones all through it would be really beautiful. A civic calamity in Christchurch? Homes tonight at 7 o'clock.